Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Today's thought is from 1 Chronicles chapter 28, verse 20. Uh, we are going to meditate the first part of the verse, but I will read the full verse for you. 1 Chronicles chapter 28, verse 20. And David said to his son Solomon, Be strong and of good courage, and do it. Do not fear, nor be dismayed. For the Lord God, my God, will be with you. He will not leave you, nor forsake you. Until you have finished all the work for the service of the house of the Lord. The first part of the verse says, Be strong and of good courage and do it. Do not fear nor be dismayed. This word was spoken by David to his son Solomon. That time the Solomon had to finish a great work for the Lord. Building the temple for the Lord. That's why David was encouraging Solomon. Do not fear and do not be dismayed. And also Solomon, uh, David said, be strong and of good courage and do it. Today in front of you also, man, there are many things you need to accomplish or you need to do, you need to finish it. But the Lord wants to encourage you to be strong and to be courage and do it. The Lord will help you. That's why the Lord wants to tell you, be strong and courage and do it then the Lord told uh, the David told Solomon do not fear and not dismay God wants to tell this same this verse for you also do not be afraid the Lord will help you to accomplish whatever he has started in and through your life he will strengthen your arms he will help you to do it Bible says Solomon built the temple of God. He finished all the works for the Lord. The same way the Almighty God will help you to do more things for the Lord. Maybe you, the, in front of you there are many things standing like a mountain. Maybe in your ministry, maybe in your workplace, maybe in your personal things or maybe your household things. You have to finish a lot of things. Today the Lord wants to encourage you that. Be strong and be courage and do it. Do not be afraid. The Lord will help you. Shall we do a word of prayer? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for this encouraging word. We need your presence to finish all the works. We need your grace. We need your strength. We need your wisdom, Lord. We need a helping hand, Lord. Thank you for encouraging us through this word. Lord, you helped Solomon to finish all the works for the temple. The same way we believe, you will help us also to finish all of our works, Lord. Encourage your people. Let this day be a day of blessing, Lord. Let your presence be with them. Thank you for removing all the fear. Thank you for removing all the troubled heart. Thank you for giving me your strength, O Master. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Amen.